In this video, we're going to construct an equation for linear models, um, or for scatter plots. Um, and we're going to use a linear model, which just means a line through a scatter plot. Okay? So, in this video, we're going to learn how to calculate a new way of slope. And just a reminder, everything I do in this video, you need to do on your note sheet. So, the new way to calculate slope, and we've talked about slope as rise over run in the past, if you remember from our linear unit. And that we also called the change in the y over the change in the x when we did tables. We talked a little bit about the change in the y and the change in the x. And how we can get that change in a scatter plot is we can take one, two points. So let's say we have two points. We're going to name them x1, comma, y1. And we're going to take, the second point is going to be x2, comma, y2. Okay. And to find the slope, we can take that y2 value, subtract the y1 value, and then divide that by the x2 value subtracted by the x1 value. Okay. And that will give us some number over another number. Okay. So make sure you get that down and we're going to actually try it out. Okay. In doing this, we have some steps here for you to follow. The first step is going to be to draw a line that crosses through at least two points and is close to many other points. And so I want these points to be nice points that we can say, okay, we're pretty sure we know what these mean. So let's together find a couple of points to use. Now you want your line to go through the data. So be a good fit for the data. So let's maybe say I want my line to be like that. Okay? So now let's maybe do maybe do this. Okay. So we can find some nice points then on this line. We have to draw a line. We have to find some nice points. Well, here's a nice point. This is the point 2 comma 70 it looks like. Two hours and a score, test score of 70. That's what we're looking here is test scores and hours spent study. Okay. And then we have another point. Um, let's see. This one's not on the scatter plot, but it looks like it goes through three hours and 80. Right? So even if your line crosses the y-axis there, that would be good. And then that would mean 60 in there. That. So we've got some nice points. Okay. We have la we labeled our two points. Now we have to label them x1, y1, x2, y2. So this is going to be our x1, y1. And it's because it comes first. This is our x2, y2. We're going to find the slope using our new formula. So down here I'm going to show some work. I'm going to take my y2, actually I'll just do it up here. My y2 is 80 minus my y1 is 70 over my x2 is 3 minus my x1 is 2. So 80 minus 70 is 10. 3 minus 2 is 1. So my slope is 10 over 1 or just 10. Okay. Then we need to estimate the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. And it looks like this line is going to cross at 50. So that means our y-intercept is 50. And then we just substitute it into our equation. And this is y equals mx plus b, or y equals our rise over our run x plus b, right? So our equation would be y equals 10 over 1x plus 50. Right? Okay. Again, we have, or let's do another one. Again, we have to draw a line. And so here we're looking at the weight of a car, I believe, and that's miles per gallon, so fuel efficiency. So let's, this is going to be negative. Let's see if we can make a line something like that. Okay. 
And then we have to find some two nice points. Okay, looks like I have a nice point here. And this would be between 32 and 36,000. So I bet that's 3,400, I guess, 3,400. And 20 miles per gallon. And another nice point is here at 4 thousand comma looks like 15 okay so we've done this done this oh we need to label them x1 y1 x1 y1 x2 y2 then we need to find our slope so our y2 is 15 minus our y1 is 20 and our x2 is 4,000 minus our x1 is 3,400, 3,400. So that's negative 5 over, um, this would be 600, right? Okay. So I believe we could reduce that, right? We could reduce that to negative 1. Negative 5 goes into negative 5 one time, and then 600 divided by 5, that's going to give us 120. So we can use either of those as our slope. That's our rise, and this is our run. Right, and then we need to estimate our y-intercept. It looks like our y-intercept is at 35. Then we need to make our equation. So it looks like we have y equals negative 1 over 120 x plus 35, right? Seems about right. Here we're going to look at the calories burned during exercise. So our variables are time and calories burned. So I'm going to draw, make a line. And it goes right through here. Maybe something like that. Okay, so we need some nice points. Well, it looks like it goes through this point perfectly. And that maybe looks like we'll have to estimate here 43, comma, maybe 380. And then what other nice points do we have? Maybe we'll just make this into a nice point. This could be 20, comma, maybe 180. Looks about the same height there. Maybe, maybe 185, let's say. Okay. Label them x1, y1. So this one would be first x1, y1, x2, y2. And we got to find our slope. So that would be 380 minus 185 over 43 minus 20. Well, this would be 95, right? over 23. Okay, and I don't think we can reduce that. 95 and 23. And we have to estimate the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept looks like it might be like maybe 5. Okay, and we'll plug in our points. y equals 95 over 23 x plus 5. All right, so let's move on. We got one more. This is our last one, farmers or farm workers. Looks like a negative, and we've already got a line for us, so we don't have to draw our line. We do have to label our points, though. This looks like the point 20, 20 comma 28, maybe. And this looks like the point 94, comma, two, something like that. 
All right, so x1, y1, x2, y2. And our slope, we would have to take 2 minus 28 over 94 minus 20. And that would give us negative 26 over 94 minus 20 is going to be 74. Okay, and I think I can reduce that 26 cut in half, that'd be 13. 74 cut in half, that'd be 37. Right? Okay. And I don't think we can reduce that anymore. And so we're good to go there. Estimate our y-intercept. Looks like 35. And we write our equations. y equals negative 13 over 37 x plus 35. Now, granted, we didn't talk about what all of these equations mean. And that's, we're going to save till the next um, lesson. Um, but, so all you'll have to do now is really think about how we formed these equations, finding slope and finding that equation.